from my point of view, I say this is a kick-ass show with a big heart. Uh, what should we be doing on the show tonight? We're working with people as it happens. I mean, I, I'm sure every generation had this of this show, but this is like, they are, they're so smart. They're so funny, yet there's a kind of grade five default if there's a fart joke or possibly doing an interview about farts. I mean, everybody is like fighting each other to have it. Hello, I'm Philip Forsyth. I'm Harry Brown. The, sh the first show in 1968, it, it was, it's really weird to listen to. And here we go with hour two, to as it happens. And it was a rolling show across the country, so it lasted, I think, six or seven hours. Welcome to Quebec and Ontario. It sounded like everybody was stoned and smoking, whatever. As it happens. Theme. I was a student in the university, and I came across this sound, these these voices, this woman who I later knew was Barbara Frum. And if your style in bed is suffering, throw out those marriage beds, mom and dad. They may be ruining your marriage. She was cheeky and irreverent, and she was pushing questions. And, and I didn't know you were allowed to do that, especially as a woman. If someone said one day you're going to live on Mars, I would have said, yeah, that's that's. Probable. If someone said you were one day sit in that chair and be that person, I would have thought that was the most hysterical thing I'd ever heard. Carol, you have administration. What makes a good as it happens interview? It's, um, I think it always has to be okay. intimate in a way. Cheryl, first of all, I'm sorry for your loss. So you have to be right in the moment. You have to just connect with that person, whatever, whoever they are, whatever they're doing, and be with them. And, and create that sense of that there's nobody else but us talking. Yeah, I appreciate you telling us the story. Thank you. Buddy is my ass. That's correct. My all-time favorite interview, there was this man who'd brought his donkey to court. He was in Texas. And they said, why did you bring your donkey to court? And he said, because I wanted the court to have a really good look at my ass. My ass is uh, uh, about 300 pounds, and it's three and a half feet tall. And uh, my ass is kind of furry. To me, it, it was just, it was, it was so hard to do, and I, I still laugh and I think of how tense that was. There are a group of people who are performing CPR on a gentleman at the war memorial. We were watching on that day. We were able late in the day to talk to Barbara Walter. She was one of a group that went to try and be with him. And she was holding his hand and talking to him. I actually tried to speak to him the entire time. What did you say to him? I told him he was, um, I told him he was loved and that he was a brave man and that he was a good man. And I said, just think of what you were doing when this happened. Just think you were standing at the cenotaph. You were honoring others. I forgot completely that there were all these people listening. I was just hearing this woman who had all this heart and had been in a moment that you, you and thank God she was the one there because I think among the others, because of how much humanity she brought to that moment. Happy 50th anniversary as it happens. And happy 50th. As it happens, listeners, see you Monday. I'm Jeff Douglas. And I'm Carol Oliver.